Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, we uh, had the week off last week, I went on holidays, and uh, uh, unfortunately when we got home, um, we found out that um, uh, Jim Mann had died. Um, Jim was founder of the Emsley Lodge, and uh, will certainly be missed by everybody here. Uh, absolute tragic news, he was, um, Jim's the type of person, he was a really interesting bloke, he uh, was very black and white, he, uh, we'd go through the horses or go through decisions we're going to make here at the farm, and uh, Jim either liked them or he didn't, there was no grey area, he was a beauty like that, and um, certainly, uh, yeah, I've got three boys, and I can tell you now, if um, all three of them grow up to be half as good a bloke as Jim, they'll grow up to be fun wonderful people. Um, certainly uh, here at the farm, I, look, I don't know how many trees and everything are planted here at the farm, probably a couple of hundred I suppose, and Jim's planted every one of them. He's, um, that was his go, every Saturday we would, uh, uh, you'd come to the farm and uh, Jim and his son James would be uh, poking around, digging holes, planting trees, watering trees, fertilising trees, doing something like that, and that was his real passion here and, um, and certainly uh, it was great. He, uh, he'd get there and uh, you'd say good day to Jim and he'd go, uh, g'day Jimmy, how you going? And uh, when you go to the races, he, uh, you'd say to Jim, you have a bet Jim? He goes, 50 on the nose, and that was Jim's go all the time. And uh, such a wonderful person and will be incredibly missed here. Yeah, now we should have a couple of runners this week. Uh, haven't had a couple. Haven't had any runners for about two and a half weeks, and uh, going to have quite a few this week, I would think. We'll kick off, kick off at Geelong on Friday. Um, Chopsticks will go around there. He's uh, been around about the mark. He's sort of, uh, you know, he's uh, only got beaten. Uh, I don't know, probably a neck last start, and was all over him. And um, he's probably in a similar sort of race, so he gets his chance, I suppose. Um, Macrobius had no luck at all last start. He's drawn a nice gate, so he should get the run of the race. Um, that's probably his grade around about that sort of mark. And uh, Roycey uh, synthetic track uh, suits him. Um, he got home okay over 1100, so we're going to just try and stretch him out to 1200 metres on Friday and see how he goes. Now Sunday at Ballarat, um, Bjorn Pretty um, will get out to the 2000 metres, which is what she's been looking for. And uh, on the grass, we'll probably Ballarat will probably be rain affected track. So, um, but uh, really keen to see how she goes. Really like the horse, and uh, you know, 2000 metres made, and uh, that's, that's her go. So, really, really keen to see her go around. Another little filly called Truthfully. Um, she uh, went okay first up, um, goes to a mile second up. Blinkers go on. Actually, a visor goes on her. Um, we'll posse her up a little bit closer. She sort of got ridden sort of about the back, and then sort of half pie rolled home. We'll ride her a bit more positively this week, and. Um, see where we're at, but um, you know, a mile Ballarat big track should suit that filly. She's only an absolute pony, so um, uh, hopefully she's tough enough to sort of um, to be around about the mark on Sunday. Now we'll go to Sandown Wednesday. Um, I've got GG Girl in a couple of races. Her last start, she just pulled up a little throat infection. We've treated that; and she seems good. I'll give her a gallop on Saturday morning and see how she works. But she'll either go to a 1300 metre. Uh, race against the boys or a 1200 metre race against the girls, all depends. If she works up really, really sharp on Saturday, I'll go to the 1200. If she just looks like she wants to settle a bit, we'll go to the 1300. Also got Roldana in there. Um, it's a 78 grade race, so she's going to be a fair way down in the order of entry, so not sure if she'll, go, if she'll get a run there. If she doesn't, she'll probably have to go to uh, Pakenham on Thursday. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. It's been a tough week, uh, and uh, we'll certainly, um, Jim was very much the founder of, of, uh, of Emsley Lodge with Pete, and, um, and certainly I was only a very minor part of a little big hole in the place now with Jim gone, um, I'll tell you. But um, anyway, here's, um, here's a little tribute to Jim. I'll tell you what, you'll be missed, mate. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's 
something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life.